we have this incredible gift, this powerful, powerful brain that we're walking around with. You know, it's it's two percent of our body weight, but consumes at rest twenty percent of our energy. We're not the fastest animal in the forest. We're not the, the strongest, but we are probably the most clever. And unfortunately, right now, it's getting us into trouble. You know, what we're doing with that powerful computer is, in the long run, not serving us because we're. Gregory Bateson is a uh, philosopher, a Harvard philosopher, who said that. Man is the only animal who will befoul his own nest, a sure sign of madness. And we're, you know, we're exacting a huge toll on our, uh, on our inheritance here, on, our, on generations to come, in terms of what we're doing with our smarts. I mean, we are so smart that we're now able to inject our, dr our drinking water with toxins so that we can extract natural gas. I mean, this has been in the front page of the New York Times now for the past week, you know, about fracking. And we are befouling our own nest, and we have no clue what those toxins are going to do to our physiology. Now, our genome allows us to process toxins to which we have been exposed for hundreds of thousands of years. Things in the crust of the earth, aluminum, there's some lead, you know, there are various plant toxins that we, when we ate everything around, and, and some people would get sick and some people would be okay. So we're used to that. But our genome has never been exposed to the more than 100. 200 new uh, chemicals that are produced each month in this country and unleashed upon us. So the good news is, though, that we have this incredible intellect that can pull us out of these issues. That's the good news. And that's where I choose to focus. And at the end of the day, I think that's where the book goes, is that, okay, things are not great. There are wars. We kill each other. We're polluting the planet. Let's not focus on it. Our solutions can come Eckhart Tolle said that the stillness is um, where we find our creativity and the answers to our problems. So it's there, and we can tap into that. And that is not a secret. Um, so. Well, don't you find that the main barrier to your teaching is that it, it emphasizes personal responsibility? It's one of the barriers, one yeah. Of the barriers. I mean, we live in a society that, that relinquishes personal responsibility. Oh, constantly. It's a very <laughs> nimby society, not in my backyard. Everything's yeah. pushed off. It's somebody yeah. else's problem. Let them deal with my garbage yeah. and let them deal with the fact that my life is not on track. Right. But you're exactly right. But the the flip side of that is, is personal potential. Mm -hmm. And when we say, oh, well, you know, I'm responsible for my weight, my diet, my health mm -hmm. issues, but look at the potential that we have. Not only individually, but as a mm -hmm. as a species, we have the absolute potential here to make things right. Mm -hmm. And that, as we move forward in these challenging times, uh, you know, we see where we're going. And there's a statement that you know, if we're not careful where we're going, we're going to end up there. Mm -hmm. So we very much can be stewards of of where we're going and uh, choose not to look at whether the glass is half full or half empty, but choose to look at the glass as being overflowing, mm -hmm. that this can be a time of huge abundance for us. Mm -hmm. and, um, we have that power. That is the ultimate <coughs> power of the brain. That's mm -hmm. the ultimate gift that we've been given. Mm -hmm.